5.30, the only woman on death row in Oregon is getting a new trial. A Lane County judge says her attorneys failed to adequately represent her. Fox 12's Zach Andrews joins us now live in studio with more. Zach? Yeah, thanks. Angela McNulty, who starved and tortured her 15-year-old daughter to death, was convicted in 2011 and has sat in a Wilsonville prison ever since. A short time ago, a Lane County judge signed an order that threw out her conviction and her death sentence. Senior Circuit Court Judge Jay Burdett Pratt ruled today to vacate the conviction and death penalty. Judge Pratt says her attorneys failed to adequately represent her during the trial. Back in 2009, Eugene police were called to a home and told a person was not breathing. 15-year-old Jeanette Maples was rushed to a hospital but ultimately died. Her mother, Angela, and her stepfather were both arrested. McNulty admitted to jurors during the trial that she did abuse her daughter but did not want her to die. In 2011, she pleaded guilty to aggravated murder and tampering with evidence and was later unanimously sentenced by a jury to death. In today's ruling, Judge Pratt says her defense team was rushed and unprepared. They had just finished a massive 114-day trial for two cop killers when they took up McNulty's case. Judge Pratt's draft ruling says the jury was never provided neuropsychological evidence to better understand the why that her mental health and own personal trauma was not presented in the case. As for the stepfather, Richard McNulty, he pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of murder by abuse and was sentenced to life in prison. Now, of the 30 on Oregon's death row, McNulty is the only woman. Former Governor John Kitzhaber instituted a moratorium for the death penalty in 2011. Now, we spoke with one of Angela's defense attorneys today. He said they accept the judge's decision and are happy that Angela, now 50 years old, has another chance to get off death row. Reporting live in studio, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.